Ready? 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 Woo! Go! Okay, we're starting off with the one-arm dumbbell row. Back flat, lifting the dumbbell up to the waist, getting the complete range of motion for the back. That's great. Right. I love this. Right, so the feet yeah. kind of drop the shoulder a little bit, right? Yeah. And hold it back Keeping in. her elbow close to her body. And I like to hold it for a beat at the top. And I'm stretching at the bottom, right? Yeah. Complete stretch. Yeah. Extend the arm. Hard to spot you right here at the elbow, right? Right. That's great. There you go. And one more. Uh, okay, my other arm. You think it's important keeping your back straight, right? Right. Your back should be flat enough that you can put a plate of papaya on your back. Papaya. <laughs> or pineapple, whatever your fruit preference may be. I uh, don't talk about that yet. It's almost lunchtime. Oh, coconut. Oh, well, I don't know. <laughs> no. Okay, oh, coconut yeah. pie. <laughs> hey, you guys, stop it up. Let's see if you can work it out. Not time for food yet. Tokyo. Great. A couple more. All right. Good. Okay, moving on Here. to the super set. Hammer time. Hammer curls. Feet shoulder width apart. Elbows tight. Look at my grip. Thumbs up. <laughs> Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. More same uh, exercise as a bicep curl. You're not coming all the way up like a normal curl. Right. So you yes. get more forearm work. Your yes. elbows are still exposed. That's great for your tennis game. <laughs> And up. Uh, five more. Spot. You see right here. Turn. Lift. Correct? Yeah, exactly. Perfect. Okay. Yes. Monica, two. Okay. And one. Whew. Feels so good. Okay. Right. Who's up next? You are. Next. All right. Okay. So Kathleen's more of the uh, beginner. I'll show you how you can spot if you're training with okay. your friends. She needs it. You can spot her right here. Helping her at the elbow, or you can grab the dumbbell down here. Okay. She doesn't look like she needs too much help. She doesn't great. need it. Notice her back is flat. Getting the complete range of motion. Chin up. Perfect. You actually drop your whole shoulder down. Right, it's you want to get the complete stretch. stretch. Sometimes you see people swinging up. Yeah. You don't want to do that. You just want to pull, contracting with the back. This is excellent for the center of the back. And also, the rear delt. Perfect. Right, how often do you work this area? Um, your back you can train twice a week. Do two arms, two uh, sets, and call me in the morning. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so then she's supporting her weight with the opposite arm. Got a little twisting motion. Perfect. Yeah, I'm going to help me keep my elbow close. There you go. Okay. Now remember, we're supersetting two muscle groups at the same time, the back and the biceps. A large muscle group like the back combined with a smaller muscle group like the biceps is an excellent workout. Perfect. So then would she go back to doing her rows again? Is that like part of her super I would rest. Yeah, she'd rest. <laughs> she'd go maybe a minute or two, get a drink of water. She had a couple friends. <laughs> do some stretching and then start over again. And do that three times or two times per? You want to do a total of um, about six to eight sets for smaller muscle groups like biceps and triceps. Okay. And 12 to 15 sets for larger muscle groups. That's okay. a good question. Okay, back flat. Good. Keep the elbow right tight next to the body. Bring the dumbbell up to your waist. Good. It's nice to have a right. shape with that. She has a yeah. nice figure. And if you look at all three of us, we all have different physiques, which is um, goes to show you that no matter what kind of weight training you do, whatever God gave you, you know, <laughs> work genetically, with it, right? yeah, work with it. Good. Up. Perfect. Strong back is so agree. important as you get older too. Great. Oh yeah. I mean, as we get older, as we age, you gotta be able to keep yourself to hunch back. over. Stand up tall. Kathleen's probably used to standing up tall from dancing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Always. Good. There hold it go. for a beat at the top. I want you to hold it right up here. Exhale. There you go. Perfect. Good. It's easier to look in a mirror in a gym to see the form, so you get a feeling for it. So if you don't ever have a mirror, you can still do the form right. Right. Okay. Yeah, if you don't have a personal trainer to help you out, look at your stuff. You know, like Monica said in the mirror, look at your reflection in the TV camera. <laughs> Perfect. Excellent. Okay. You want lighter weights now for the hammer curls? Um, yeah, maybe. Okay. Now this one, 
start with your fists up, elbows tight, drop it down, and up. Perfect. Right, knee slightly bent, and up. Perfect. There you go. Exhale. Good. Can you feel it more in your forearms than the uh -huh. other type of curl? Yeah, a lot. I feel it like right in the yeah, right top up here. part, too. Good. Now, even though we show you hundreds of exercises out here on the show, um, if you don't go to the gym and do it, you won't see any results. So, um, on that note, Monica, what do you do for motivation to get to the gym? Yep. <laughs> this goes. Okay, how about you, I look Kathleen? in the mirror and say, ah, little work there, a little work here. I watch Keanu's like the kill. Oh, <laughs> good answer. I like that. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, moving on along. What is always being active? If you start to yeah. eat wrong and not work out, you start to lag. I always get a little sleepy if I'm not training. I don't have as much energy during the day. Yeah. I like to. And my clothes my start to feel like they're not fitting me. <laughs> <laughs> That's always the motivator. Hey, hey girlfriend. So you can see, you can <laughs> yeah. You can see the muscle that's great, Yana. It helps to watch, I think, because that way you get to see what muscles are working and which ones you have to squeeze when you're actually doing it. Yeah. Good. Okay. Now we'll do the concentration curls. I just did my set of back flies for the back. Now I'm going to concentrate. So on the peak of the arm, concentration curl. Letting the forearm hang, elbow on the inside of the knee, curling it up. This works right in through here. Does that work any part of your forearm at all? A little bit. I mean, whenever you're gripping something, yeah, it's going to work it. But this is mainly targeting on the bicep. Yeah, keep your arm so stationary that you have to use the bicep to pull it up. You can even spot yourself if you need it. Yeah, I was just going to say, if you didn't have someone to spot, what would you do? <laughs> what would you do? <laughs> well, the spotters are motivator, too. Yeah. Actually, if I needed a spot... Monica or Kathleen could come in on the other side. The or rest right here? Yeah. Perfect. Good. Those biceps. And last one. Whew. Okay. You're up next. Okay. All right, after this, girls day at the gym. I think it's girls day at the, what, beach? It's or girls beach. day at the mall? Spa. Spa. <laughs> See you at the spa. Monica demonstrating the hanging knee raise for the lower abdominals. Letting the arms completely extend, pelvis hanging, bringing the knees up to the stomach. Perfect. Mark's helping her a little bit, preventing her from swinging by holding her lower back. If you want a spot, you can help right up here. Good. Look at those intercostals. Look at the everything. Mm. <laughs> All right. Look at that glittery bikini. <laughs> yes. All right, I'll jump up there now. Right. That's how she raises her legs slow. Yeah, control. Good control. She exhales on the lift. Come on. Two more. Good. Two. There you go. Okay. <laughs> right hey, it's my turn. He didn't have to jump up there. The Mark's doing a little differently because he's taller. Straight legs. A little more difficult. Yeah, it's a little bit You can really see it working. He has terrific abs. Remember now, if you don't do your cardiovascular exercise, you'll never shed the body fat so you can see your six pack and your washboard stomach. There you go, Mark. Good. I like to have tight abs. Okay. Uh -huh. Our next movement for the lower abs are the uh, leg raises. Now remember, anytime you're lifting the lower part of your body, you're working the lower part of the abs. Can you jump in there? <laughs> okay. Step on in. She has an overhand grip. Straight legs, good control. Mm -hmm. Now, how often do you train your abs, Mark? I do them every day, actually. And uh, I like to do my abs first, because I tend to get lazy towards the end of the, <laughs> <laughs> end of the workout. Good, Monica. Now, remember also to watch what you eat. Keep your fat intake very, very low. Remember to read nutritional breakdowns on the packages of food and drink lots of water. Lots of water. OK, next victim. Next victim, that would be me. A lot of people think it's a misconception about drinking a lot of water. It's very important to drink a lot of water because uh, the body, if it doesn't get water, or the more water you drink, actually... It flushes out your system yeah, better. Unless it holds. Definitely. It'll Good start challenge. if it doesn't think it's going to get water. A lot of people forget to breathe, I think, when, they, when they're when they doing the abs 
and I think that's really important because you can squeeze it harder. Exactly. Right, Kiana. And what do you think about speed? You think faster or slower? Or I like to train high reps for abs, um, one set immediately after the other with high reps. Yeah. So I'll pick six different exercises and do so 25 one to, reps. One to the right. other. Exactly. You work on a different portion of your abs each time. Yeah. What, yeah. Do you, what do you do? I like to do the same. I work them every other day. Uh-huh. High reps. I, use, I don't like to do any weights with them. You I want it to be flat, flat. yeah. yeah. <laughs> little bulges. That one looks this one good. here, this is for the okay. intercostals. Michael? I'll that. the same concept as the knee raise, except she's just twisting her hips, bringing the knees up sideways, working the side part of the abs. And uh, my secret to losing weight is, is I wrestled nine years, so uh, I put on my rubber suit and I do jumping jacks in the sauna. Was minutes. that you in there? Yeah. <laughs> Kiana, I can't stop. <laughs> Kiana! Oh I can't get I off. The, the, the gas from the tiki stuck. torches is affecting her brain. My hands are sick. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> She's silly. All right. Now, that's the only thing that's not fair is when you're in a gym and you don't have someone to lift you up. I like to lift my hips up. Can you squeeze the opposite side or the same side as your knees go? I do opposite. Opposite. Good. And I like to do mine just a little bit different than that. Shall we Range of motion of movement is very little. Yeah. So basically, pick a few different exercises that you like that work for you. If you're training with your friends, maybe each one of you take turns showing the others different movements. It helps working with somebody because you keep keep going, keep on yeah. a roll. And that way it stays fun too. Yeah. All right, Mark. Okay, should we go back to the beginning? Yeah. Wanna... yeah. Okay. No. <laughs> Now remember, you can train your abs and your calves every day. Um, the other body parts like chest, shoulders, triceps, biceps, and back, no more than twice a week. Start off slowly, and soon you'll have abs like Monica and Mark. And Kiana. Are you to show more abs? Maybe show more abs. Before we go. Oh, excuse me, I think I'm reaching up here. No. <laughs> <laughs> the abs section. Okay, let's go eat now. Okay. This way. <laughs> Chocolate cake. Ah! Starting off with the shoulder press, each one of us are picked out our favorite body part to train. I picked triceps, Monica picked shoulders, and Jason picked... Biceps. <laughs> and do you like this exercise, Jason? I like it. I use a different positioning on the hand. I use the middle position. Uh-huh. How come? more of the middle. Middle part of the shoulder. The front handles are more for the front part of the shoulder. Right. All right. So I work the front part. Okay. And I'm going to use the same grip Monica did. That's three. Yep. Why is this your favorite exercise? I like to have nice looking shoulders. It just makes you feel feminine and yeah. rounds out the whole upper part of your body, I think. So. It's important having strong shoulders. These are hard to do. Yeah. My shoulders are real sore. They work pretty much over all your whole shoulder. Let's go, Kiana. Pump them up. All right. Good. Okay, Jason's turn. I like warming up with the shoulder press. You can use the machine, or if you don't have this machine, you can use free weights, like dumbbells or a barbell. I don't think we have enough weights on here for <coughs> I think you missed only two plates at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Next set. Yeah, really. <laughs> Secondary muscle groups um, hit on this movement are your um, chest and triceps. So it could be a good warm up, right? Yeah, for other body parts or to train. It's a good building, good building exercise. Though. Right. Presses. Two. Okay. Okay. Our next exercise is what? What do you want to do? Biceps. Okay. okay. Your favorite. You want to start this one? Sure. Why don't you stand over there, Monica? Here. And we're doing the cable curls for the biceps. Jesus is going to show us how he got such nice arms. Mm -hmm. Notice he keeps his elbows in tight to the body. Slight right, bend right. in the knees. Takes the strain off the lower back. Perfect. Right. 
go. Exhaling. Good. Perfect. And if he wanted to, if we, if he needed a spot, Monica could spot him right here. Right, no. Good. Perfect. All right, Jason. Come on, come on. Five more. Five <laughs> more. Okay, Keanu, Four. do you think it's important not to just on the elbow, right? Right. Two, last one. Come on, up. Let's go up. Go, Jason. <laughs> okay, now you're going to add some weight next time? No, yeah. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> what would you like? No, he did a lot. Uh, I'll do 30. You have to pick a new favorite exercise. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Elbows tight. Exhale as you curl the weight up. There you go. So w this is a good movement for women also. Yep. Pretty shapely arms. You look so good in those strappy dresses. <laughs> good. Let's go, Tiana. How many exercises do you do for biceps, Jason? I'm gonna try. I usually do three. Three. Start out with something basic and move on to a concentration. So, my turn. So it's a good idea when you're in the gym to use a variety of different machines, mix it up with free weights, um, dumbbells, cables. barbells, cables. Good. Notice she's getting the complete range of motion. It's a very strict movement. Her elbows are tight. That's important. A lot of times you see people swinging it up. You're not finishing with the top, right. squeezing the muscle. Exactly. Okay. Good. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. On to your favorite. This is my favorite. It's for the back Anna. of the arm, the triceps. Okay. Most women's favorite, right? Yes. <laughs> Actually, they're all my favorite. <laughs> Basically, you put a rope on the cable, feet shoulder width apart, elbows tight, and flex. Two. Three. Same position with your back and Four. abs. Back flat. Abs tight. Six. Keep your elbows, elbows tight. Yeah, elbows at the side. Eight. Now, if we were going to spot right here. Right. Eight. Or even at the elbows to keep them close. Right, because sometimes as, you as it gets heavier, yeah, yeah, your elbows go out. You squeeze at the bottom. I like Good. to hold it yeah. for a beat, and I like to spread the rope apart at the bottom and flex. Just that little bit extra. Mm -hmm. 24. Good. <laughs> Good. Go ahead, Monica. Or my neck. This is one, this is a fun way to train. If you have a couple friends that you train with, you can each pick your favorite exercise and teach the other person. Definitely. It's having fun, huh? Yep. <laughs> I stand a little closer than Monica does. Do you? straight down. Bring it back a little bit. There's different angles, variations. What'd you say, about 50 reps? <laughs> You're gonna beat me with 51. Okay. Now, Monica uh, won the uh, Jantana Fitness... Pro Fitness Challenge. Pro Fitness Challenge. You know that, Jason? I've seen it. <laughs> have you seen it? Uh -huh. I bet you have. I wasn't in it. <laughs> I wasn't in it. <laughs> it's too big for fitness. So do you train differently when you compete for the fitness Well, contest? when I start getting right and prepared for the contest, probably about five or six weeks out, I usually stop doing weights because I'm so burnt out from my routine practice. So you do more which cardio? Which is gymnastics and dance and strength moves, which involve a lot of shoulder work and legs uh -huh. and everything. So I pretty much have no energy left for <laughs> weights. But I usually get back with it after, um, you know, after the show. Okay, yeah. great. All right. Yeah, great who's turn. next? Okay, my turn again. I'll you show you a little uh, variation. This is another way I like to do it. Nicer view this way. <laughs> Lean forward, elbows tight. Elbows up. Make sure that the elbows stay in the same position. This is a great exercise for stretching the tricep and extending it all the way. Keeping your back straight. Abs tight still. Head up and abs tight. Okay. Well, there you have it. Our three favorite exercises, the triceps, shoulders, shoulders and biceps. biceps.
this chest workout. Get it? Sailboat? Sail through? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Courtesy hey, laugh for Kiana. Though. Okay, we're starting our chest workout with the basic exercise called the bench press. Monica has a small of her back. Press flat into the bench, her feet up for stability. Abs nice and tight in this little flat tummy of hers. Keeping the elbows back, inhaling on the way down, exhaling on the way up. And Mark spotting her on the hands, never taking the weight away from her, just helping her up just a little. How's that feel? Feels great. Keeping that constant resistance. That's right. Not helping too much. Okay. I think I'll put on um, a five on top. So we're starting off with the flat bench and, and working our way to the shaping exercises. I like to put my feet flat. Keep your back straight still. Back straight. Inhale. I like to bring it down to chest level and up. Monica, how often do you train your chest? Uh, I mostly do a lot of push-ups. I don't do a lot of free weights. But when I do, you know, about twice a week, probably. Six, twice a week. How about you, Mark? I like to do chest twice a week, once with free weights, and then uh, for shaping, I like to use the machines. And uh, so you change it up, you use yeah, both. That's a good point. What do you want on the uh, uh, Let's go with some uh, 45. Some choose a variety of different machines. Sometimes train with machines, sometimes train with free weights. Sometimes train alone with two of your closest friends. <laughs> yeah, it's fun. If you're just starting this movement, make sure and keep your feet flat. Try it without uh, the bar, maybe just with some light dumbbells. Because you train a lot of people in LA, don't you? Yeah, I have. I'm just training. Back in Texas more. <laughs> From Texas? From Texas. Texas Yeehaw! <laughs> Come on, cowboy. Uh, two more. So Mark, that's pump it up. All right, great. Okay, now we're going to move on to, uh, you guys want to move on to the cable flies? Sure. Okay. I love this machine. This is a terrific exercise for shaping and toning the chest. It's great for women and men. And uh, I'll go two uh, sets in a row, you know? So Ooh. Explosive chest. <laughs> <laughs> Good word, explosive. This helps to contour the chest some, doesn't it? Right, you can really see it working in through here. Yeah. Secondary muscle groups to your shoulder. He's inhaling as he brings the weight up slowly, protecting the joints in the shoulder. Back straight, no rocking motion. Mark's got some good definition. And, uh, I think I'm too heavy, but it's why don't okay. we, here, why don't we lower it a little? Just lower it. Yeah. That's a good idea. Make sure and start off slowly, start off lightly. If it's too heavy, it's no problem. Just lower the weight. Just make make sure and use proper form. Right? It's not how much you do, how you do it's it. How you, how do, you it. do it. There you go. There you go, perfect. Notice he's holding it for a beat, flexing the pecs together. Yeah, yeah I think look this good. is a good warm-up exercise too. I like actually I like doing the, the most basic movements first, like bench or incline bench. How about you? What do you start with? You want to jump in? Sure. I think basics. Glad two is good. Notice her elbows are nice and high. This is great for women to help enhance the cleavage. <laughs> the pectoral. <laughs> but men have cleavage too, so it's okay. <laughs> uh, you mean over there? <laughs> Perfect. Notice here she's getting the complete range of motion, going back nice and slowly and squeezing together. Good. It's a good idea if you're just starting out, start off with the basic movement, work your way up to this a little more intermediate. One more. All right. All right. Okay. So much done. I'll do, I'll do the same. 20. Yeah. Thanks. I like putting my foot a little farther forward than they do. It's just a personal Kiana thing. <laughs> and I'll cross the right arm first, hold it, bring it back, and then cross the left so I get a nice balanced workout. If you want a spot, you can just uh, in front here. That's right. Hi, Mark. Hi, Kiana. Okay. Mark, you want to jump? Or Mark, want to jump back in? It's your set again. So we're going to do. We recommend for you at home to do three to four sets of each exercise, 
and do some light stretching afterwards. Make sure and do cardio like running, <laughs> as Monica's demonstrating. <laughs> Good. Perfect. Awesome. Now, Monica, you do, you compete in fitness pageants right. and you're a model. I've seen you in a lot of magazines. So do you train differently when you model versus competing? Well, um, as far as chess goes, are you talking? Yeah, when you are training. Goes, I do a lot, like I said before, I do a lot of push-ups simply because it kind of helps overall more than um, for me because I do that in my routines. I do push-ups and a lot of strength. So you do more isometrics. Right. All right. Let one of the girls talk. I'll show you another exercise. Uh, okay. <laughs> I what like are you gonna to, do? Uh, get that full stretch back here, into the middle, so that you get the uh, inner pectoral muscle. That's good. He's got his his hands straight, his arms a little straighter. Let's also get some of your lats in there. That's a good one. All right, Mark. He's showing off. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> we'll let Monica demonstrate the pullovers. Now this is a terrific exercise to develop and enhance your rib cage and your midsection and your chest. The basic idea here is she's dropping her pelvis down, abs tight, knees bent, and just bringing the arms overhead, getting the full stretch in through the midsection and then bringing it to chest level. Notice her hands, her palms are facing up toward the sun. Yeah. <laughs> as well as my arms. Yeah. <laughs> Do you recommend, Karen, the, uh, having the arms straight or the elbows bent? Um, it's, it's a personal preference. I like keeping my um, elbows slightly bent. But notice she's bringing the weight back slowly. Oh, yeah. in proper form. This feels good, doesn't it? Oh, stretchy. I need some sunglasses. <laughs> sunglasses are an option. Okay, one more. Okay. Perfect. Thank you, Mark. All right, we'll let Mark jump in. And uh, why don't you guys go check out this sailboat again?